Welcome back Toy Freaks and as you can see in front of you we now have one of the new collector's edition Action Man released by Hasbro not that long ago. Now these are I would imagine released specifically for the kind of people like me who had Action Man when, it was, when I was growing up and this is to rekindle the excitement of getting an Action Man for Christmas or a birthday and opening them up and put them with the rest of the action men you either still have or want. You get the idea. People that collect these things anyway. Uh, the box is fairly good because on the side it shows you the action soldier, the pilot, the sailor. And on the back it says Action Man is a genuine movable action figure celebrating three of the most popular figures of all time. And then it goes on, enjoy dusting off your current collection and then, you know, collector, collector's editions are available at actionman.com. Um, now, that's all good and well, but like I said, these are obviously produced with people like myself in mind. They're not really to get people interested in uh, buying Action Man or releasing a new, whole new series of them for, for children of nowadays. Um, and it's obvious, from even just looking in the window, it's obvious that they've, they've cut corners here. Because look at the hands. The hands are... what, what the hell are those? Uh, you could tell from his neck... He hasn't got the right neck joint either. Let me just zoom in a little bit there. You can see his neck. It's just there's just something not quite right about it. Anyway, anyway, I bought him about an hour ago. Uh, got into the car and tore the box as I was trying to get him out because I wanted to see what it was like because it's always the same. You know, you you get an action man. I've never changed since the age of seven or eight. So we're going to open the box up. We're going to take him out. And let's see if you think the same about them that I thought. So, we have a look here. Yep, yeah, very basic. Very, very basic. And it is exactly as it says in the box. You get him, his berry, his costume, and his boots and nothing else. Um, well, you do get a wee dog tag with Action Man on it. But it's not the big, bulky, robust dog tag that you got with the Action Man of yesteryear. It's... A tiny little delicate thing you might find down the Barbie's neck. And, well, we'll come back to the Barbie reference in a minute. I'll take him out. And the first thing I noticed when I took him out was um, the fact that his legs are really, really loose. And they move in a kind of weird way as well. Uh, now, I've not taken his uniform off just yet to see what his um, articulation's like. As you can see with the neck, it is just side to side, no back and front. His berry is, well, it's not even decent plastic like the, the old ones were. So we'll just do that to one side. Um, the thing they have got right is the sculpt to the head. It's very, very accurate to the, the original ones. The hands are pathetic. He has no elbow articulation none whatsoever he operates at the shoulder he operates at the hip that sorry the yeah he operates at the hip there's no waist joint i mean even it looks as though there's a waist joint but it doesn't actually turn and his knee has a three click so what we're going to do now is we're going to take his uniform off to see exactly what's lying underneath here so here we go yeah, that is rubbish. That's crap. Uh, okay, boots are coming off. Excuse me one moment. One boot, two boots. And if you excuse the naked of a nudity of a, a toy, trousers have got to come off now as well. If they're going to come off, there we go. Right, that's your action man right there. He's got rubbish rubber legs. He's a, he's a, he's actually a Ken doll. It's a Ken doll with action man's head. That's what this is. That's how crap that is. The only thing, the only stuff worth keeping, I and mean, even the, the costumes are just, they're not even decent fabric. It's rubbish. Boots, well, they're just rehashed, I would imagine, from the Hasbro 90s action man, which were a bit crap in their own right as well. That's rubbish. That isn't worth, I mean I paid 10 quid for him, you know, I'm, I actually feel robbed 
this is garbage, absolute garbage. I'll keep the dog tags, the costume, might even keep his head, but that's that's a Ken doll, that's just crap. Um, anyone buying them is just wasting their money. Totally disgusted by that. I find this actually rather offensive. Collector series, my arse. Anyway, that's it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, if you've had them, if you think they're wonderful, then say so. Because everyone's different, really. Everyone's got an opinion. But I would actually much rather spend the extra money on one of the 50th or one of the 40th uh, reproductions. But that, that is just crap. I wouldn't waste my money. Anyway, till next time, Toy Freaks.